here's a, here's a young man suffering from pain just lateral to the patellar tendon for quite some time prior to seeing me. In the surgery center, I was able to essentially just break up the cyst with the needle. We didn't really get any significant amount of fluid out of it, but just breaking up the cyst with the needle and injecting cortisone provided significant relief for him. 35-year-old male with pain um, in his right knee for maybe four months, no injury. It does kind of buckle when he tries to play sports. He does have a lump here, just lateral to the patella tendon. I did an ultrasound previously, just quickly in the office. It does look like he has a ganglion. It may be originating from half his fat pad. I'm going to try to drain it today and inject with cortisone. He has a little bit of pain with walking as well, which hopefully this will help. Here we are focusing on the Hoffa's fat pad. You can see this ganglion, which is sitting essentially within the fat pad and somewhat lateral to it as well. Here's the medial aspect of Hoffa's fat, which you do not see the ganglion. And now with the patel tendon removed, we can see this very irregular ganglion with somewhat of a stalk or communication tract inferiorly going into the joint, which we're focusing on here. Here we have our patel tendon back, and we're rotating the lower extremity into the position of the procedure. Here our probe is in an inter-sagittal view. We can see the needle essentially going in a long axis perspective relative to the probe. And we're trying to aspirate, which we were able to just get a little bit of thick, clear ganglionic type fluid. And then we proceeded with basically needle breakage of this ganglion. We actually went in a second time through a different part of the ganglion. This time we had the probe in an axial view on the lateral aspect or anterior lateral aspect of the knee. And we're almost going directly perpendicular to the skin with the needle here. So we tried to rotate our probe more lateral to have it parallel to the needle. Also during the second attempt, we redirected the needle into this communication tract to help perhaps try to break it up. And this is something you can really only do with ultrasound guidance. And then finally during the end of the procedure, we injected cortisone, which actually went out through the original needle tract of the first needle. So here's a simple sagittal view of his knee. You can clearly see the lateral femoral condyle in a nice way of hyaline cartilage. And here comes the ganglion <clears throat> as you go more lateral to the patella tendon in the Hoffa's fat pad. And you can see a septum within the ganglion itself. And here's an axial view, a uh, nice view of a normal looking patella tendon. And here's the ganglion, it's quite irregular in the axial plane, and you can see a nice little stalk that I believe communicates with the joint. It's like an octopus. Um, <laughs> see a little track there going down? It looks almost like a track going down. This is a 16 and a half gauge. Just relax, amigo. No tenga. No tengas miedo. No tenga miedo. Será un hombre después de eso. So here we are. We can easily see the needle within the ganglion itself and basically just trying to go for the biggest part of it initially. It's a nice reverberation artifact from the needle. Let's put a lot of pressure on this thing. So here I just use a large 30cc syringe to try to get a lot of negative suction. To try to get a thick fluid out, but it didn't really do much. So at that point my thinking was just to try to break up the walls of it and hopefully it will kind of soften up and, and shrink over time. And here we can just see the needle tip. It gives you a good sense of where you are medially or laterally. Now if I don't get it all, at least I'll break it up. I might just kind of disintegrate. Click again. I'm going to take this out. Got to take. And here's that thick ganglion type fluid. Unfortunately, we got a little bit out, but there's probably more than you would think because there's most likely fluid within the needle shaft itself, and this is a thick needle shaft. Here we are, we're going through a second site to try to get the more proximal portion of the ganglion. And here I'm basically threading the needle down this little stalk, and something that 
you really can't do without any kind of image guidance. Shout out to Venus, where they are through the other hole. Yeah, so this was wow. an unanticipated um, finding that uh, the track from the initial needle was so large that essentially most of the core sound just went out right through it. So we're three weeks out. Mm -hmm. Before when I push, it hurts me. Now it doesn't hurt me anymore. It doesn't hurt when you push. Yeah. And it, I really, I, it doesn't feel like it's as big. Here's your patella tendon. I don't feel that big nodule, that big bulge anymore. It's softer, right? Yeah. Before it's hard. Right. Yeah. Fortunately, it seemed like you did get significant relief from the procedure. And actually, in ultrasound, you could see that the cyst itself did shrink following the procedure. Here we are just in a sagittal view, and now we're following up with an axial view. And there's the ganglion on Hoffa's fat pad. You can still see a communicating track. Here's our pre and post procedure comparison views, and you can see significant decrease in size. So, we're about six months after the procedure of the um, basically uh, needle breakage of a ganglion in the right knee, and um, he's not having any pain right now. No, 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 tiene alguna dolor ahora. No pain. So, it still feels better. Okay, terrific. Excellent. Gracias.